Stop dripping it, Megan! The smart local.com Okay, so today we just got news that Kong Cha and Okay, okay, you heard about Kong Cha and Yo? Yes. Yeah, so basically today we're gonna quickly go and grab um Kong Cha before all of them like disappear from Singapore, right? Okay, so I guess we're gonna go buy the bubble tea and I'll see you later. Okay, so now we're back in the office and I'm going to get two very special people to join me in reviewing the bubble teas. They are... Steph and Chris! Hey. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Steph as you all know is from ebook and Chris was from Gong Cha. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, so today we're going to do a comparison of the bubble teas between Gong Cha and the Li Ho. Cha is that big! Yeah, why is the so big long <laughs> Why is it different? Eh? The Gong Cha one has a bit more of the tea flavour. Mm. This one is a lot more milkier, uh, like a bit more watered down. There's a difference, I, I can't like, I don't I can words. taste the difference, but I can't yeah, describe yeah, correct, correct. Every time I order drink at Gong Cha, I don't like to drink pearl. First the pearl takes up space, then it gives you less drink. You take up space. You take up space. Oh! Hey. <laughs> no, There's only one pearl in Chris' life that matters. Yeah. It's only space! <laughs> Okay, next is... Oh my god. Taro! Taro. Hey, careful, huh? careful, huh? Oh my god. Careful, huh? Oh The straw I'm the expert. I am the one, the one you oh. no need to to get respect from on the street. Under the sun, the best. I feel like Tota has one of the better Taro milk teas. Hmm. Wow! No! This is not Taro! Oh my god! I'm so sad! What's that? Right? This is like candy. Look how good you eat, yeah. I don't taste anything like that before. Yeah, I'm trying. You're very curious, right? I know I taste like it. It tastes like popcorn. Huh? Huh? You eat popcorn on dustbin, lah. <laughs> tastes like popcorn. No, yeah, yeah. After taste, after taste. So now Kong Cha and Li Ho are tied. Now we go down to their Earl Grey milk tea, right? Earl Grey milk tea. Yes. <laughs> the Earl Grey tea is very herbal. I don't know why. But I'm more used to this flavor. Mm. True. I'm not used to that. I'm one. a lot more familiar with that one. This is actually quite interesting for me. It tastes very atas. It tastes very expensive. <coughs> now let's move on to the new Liho flavors. Mmm. You know what this reminds me of? Like baked cheese tarts. But there's a weird aftertaste. Okay, don't compare the bake, okay? <laughs> I love bake. No, but it's and like okay, fine. Some words <laughs> like taste texture. Tastes like a flamingo's piece. Have you tasted flamingo? Why is it a flamingo's piece? Actually, I also don't know. <laughs> the tea is good. Bruh. So shall we stir it and then see what it tastes like? Yes! Well, wow, the stirring just ruined it for me. I, I, I couldn't decide, like my mind didn't know what was happening. Thanks. <laughs> Ladies first. Oh, then in that case. Hey. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my god. Don't say anything, don't say anything, don't say anything! Why the hell does this work so well? Oh yeah, my god! Precisely. I think it's because the tea itself is a little bit more bitter than the one we had previously, so then Maybe when you mix it with the cheese, somehow it like oh. it's not as bitter and it's a bit more mellow. Mm. After the, the, the mix, right? Whoa, mm. The whole flavor changed a lot. Okay, now the last one is the cheese melon tea. No, it's cheese tomato. Oh, the cheese them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't laugh. Then the thing go away in. Huh? <laughs> hey, do you see the saliva? Oh, no. Almost straw. <laughs> Don't touch the thing lah! <laughs> oh, no. She grabbed with her hand eh. <laughs> wow, okay, okay, good, 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 good. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't want to do I don't the pearl. Stop dripping it, play in! <laughs> it's like the first one eh. It's like where the cheese actually just dilutes the flavour of the tea. Itself. But the combination isn't magical. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't bring out like a new flavour. Yeah. Maybe the cheese will go well with stronger teas. 
Okay, no, no, okay, okay. A any last words about like milk tea in general and this whole craze? I love milk tea, eh. I think there was a point in time when there was just too much milk tea. It became too saturated. But after a while, the, the, the inferior ones died out. La. Yeah. It's yeah. interesting how we were able to watch like the milk tea slash bubble tea industry grow and develop over the years. Mm. Then after that, then these big players came into the game. And then I think, if I'm not wrong, it died. Yeah, for it died for yeah. quite a long, a few years. And then it came back up again. Mm. Gong Cai is definitely one, or if not the biggest player. Um, and there's a reason why. So yes, it's a bit sad um, that they will be replaced la, but at the same time, maybe it's uh, for a better change. Okay, <laughs> so thanks guys for joining me. Y'all can go now. Oh, that's damn lame. I should stop doing that. Okay, so right now, we're going to get some of the drinks and we're going to go around the office asking people for their opinions. Uh, let them try and see how. Okay? Hey Joe, you want to try something? Yeah, what? Cheese. Cheese milk tea. Oh my god, it's a new one? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Sorry, hey, try, try. I'm too excited. How do it taste like? Interesting. Are you quite nice, eh? I'm confused. <laughs> I don't mean this is a cheese at TBH. Pearl is nice, lah. Pearl is nice. Yeah, yeah, Pearl is nice. I just made a mess. How many people have drunk this already? Uh, Honestly, it's not very cheesy. It's just slightly salty, oh. It's very savory milk. I just can't stop. That's the thing. It's weird, but you can't stop. You know the artisan, artisan milk tea from Kronka. Let me try again. It's the same taste. Let me try again. Let me try again. Except, except, except for more exactly. home. Okay, Alisan tea has this foam. Listen, listen, guys. Alisan tea has this foam, <laughs> milk foam Alisan tea. So this is the same thing, just the extra foam. Okay, so that was everyone's opinion. Um, some people liked it, some people didn't. But I think for this kind of thing, at the end of the day, right, it's subjective lah. You, everybody has their own personal preference of what kind of bubble tea they like. Even even like sugar percentage. I mean, that's why the drinks are so customer customizable to begin with. Right? Yes, customizable. <laughs> customizable. <laughs> yep. So go and try it yourself. Go and try Kongcha before it closes and then go and try Liho before the crowd gets insane. Okay? And let us know what you think in the comments down below. Okay? If not, I'll see you guys around. Yep. <laughs>